Hello everyone. Today we are going to see eigen values and eigen vectors. This is also known as the characteristic values and characteristic vectors. These values only can be found for square matrix. So here we have taken matrix of order three here. So for finding characteristic values, first we should know characteristic matrix, and that is given by this matrix E minus lambda I, where this A is a given matrix, lambda is a scalar, and I is the identity matrix of same order. So here we will write down all these. So here we have find this matrix A minus lambda I. Now we know that characteristic equation is given by this determinant of A minus lambda I is equals to zero. Yes. So for this matrix, characteristic equation is given by the determinant of this matrix A minus lambda I is equals to zero. So we will write down this determinant. Equal to zero. Okay. Now here, this is the determinant. We know that this determinant can be solved by expanding this determinant by any rows or any columns. So, so that we will get the characteristic equation. But we will use here this result for finding characteristic equation for this matrix A. So it is given by this lambda cube. We know s1, s1 is sum of diagonal element. So we will write down this sum into lambda. Then this plus s2, s2 is the sum of minors of diagonal element. So we will write down sum of minors of each diagonal element. Then minus this S3. S3 is determinant of this given matrix equal to zero. Okay. Now we know that we can find determinant of this matrix, and it is given by when we solve, we get this value determinant of A is equal to this minus six. So we have to put this value here. So now we will simplify. This lambda cube minus yes we get here this is twice lambda. Now we will simplify this one here. This is the determinant of order two. So we will simplify this one. Yes, we got characteristic equation for this matrix E. Yes, this is here. Okay, one minute. This is here. We have square lambda square. So we got this one, right? Yes, we can observe that this is the characteristic equation. Yes, here we have power of lambda. This degree of lambda is in here, decreasing order. Here we have lambda cube, lambda square, lambda, and here we have lambda raised to zero, right? So here we have this cubic equation, and we have alternate plus minus sign. So by using this result, we have find characteristic equation for the given matrix. Now we have to find the roots of this characteristic equation so that we will get the characteristic roots. So now next we will find this characteristic roots. Okay. Now here we have this characteristic equation. We have to find its root. Now we can check that lambda is equals to one is one root of this equation. When we put lambda is equals to one, this equation gets satisfied. So lambda minus one is one factor of this cubic equation, and another factor we have to find that is by synthetic division, and we will get this one lambda square minus lambda minus six. Right. Again, we can factorize this one. So we have this lambda minus three, and this is lambda plus two. Equals to zero. Okay. Now by equating all this here, we will get lambda is equals to one, lambda is equals to three, and this lambda is equals to minus two. 
so we got this characteristic roots and this is our eigen values right now from this eigen values we have to find eigen vector and to find eigen vector we have to consider this equation e minus lambda i x equals to 0 here we have find this matrix e minus lambda i x is this column vector this is here x y z and this 0 is this is a null vector null matrix now we will put this matrix e minus lambda i which we have found this is earlier here this value we have to put here so we will get this 2 minus lambda minus okay so we got this matrix equation by using this matrix equation we have to find eigen vector for finding eigen vector we have to put this respective eigen values so that we will get this eigen vector for this respective values so we will put here one by one eigen values now we will put lambda is equals to 1 in this matrix equation so we will get here yes we have put lambda is equals to 1 and we got this matrix equation now we have to simplify this equation here so that we will get equation system of equation yes we can simplify this is this is these are the two matrix we can multiply this is here yes this is the system of homogeneous equation yes we have to solve this equations for getting the values of x y z and we will get the proportional values of x y z we have to solve this is by Kramer's rule we know the Kramer's rule when we have this three equations in three unknowns we have to find the values of x y z in this way yes so finding the values of x we have to write x in denominator co remaining coefficients remaining coefficients of y z here we have considered this first two equations right similarly we can consider any pair of equations here for getting the values of x y z so we will consider this first two equations for getting the values of this x y z we will find this one by one so x we have to write in denominator remaining coefficients this minus 2 3 0 1 then we have to write here minus y so remaining coefficients of this x z so here we have this 1 3 1 1 then z remaining coefficients of x and y so 1 minus 2 1 0 and here we have to take this is a proportional constant k so k is any real number this k belongs to r except 0 ok so we have to simplify this now so we will get now simplification minus minus get plus y is equals to twice k and z is equals to here twice k ok so we got this x y z value so we have to write this is in vector this column vector so we have to write this x y z value yes now we can check that we can take this is twice k outside so we will get this value this minus 1 1 1 yes this is ok so yes we can we have to write this eigen vector in its simplest form so we have taken this twice k outside so our required eigen vector this is here yes so we will call this is as a x1 
so this is first eigen vector which we have find for this lambda is equals to 1 right so similarly we have to find next eigen vector now we will find next eigen vector for lambda is equals to 3 so we have to put lambda is equals to 3 in this matrix equation so we will get this simplified matrix equation now we have to simplify this yes now we got here system of homogeneous equations we can solve any pair of equations for getting the values of x y z so here we will consider this last two equations for getting this x y z so so that we will have this is x remaining coefficients we have to write in determinant so this is minus 2 1 Three minus four. Next, minus y in denominator we have this one 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 minus four. We have to write remaining coefficients. When we write z, we have to write the remaining coefficients of x and y. And this is proportional constant k. So now we will simplify this is here. Yes. So we will get this is x is equals to five k, y is equals to this five k, and z is equals to again this is five k. So we have to put this values in this column vector. Yes. We got here values of x, y, z. As a five k, yes. Now we have to take this five k. This we have taken. This is outside. Yes. This is a k is a proportional constant, right? So so that we will get next eigen vector. This is x two. This is here one one one, right? So this is with respect to lambda is equals to three, right? So this is next eigen vector which we have find lambda for lambda is equals to three. Yes, next we have to find next eigen vector for lambda is equals to this minus two. So we will put here and this values in this matrix equation. Now we will simplify. Yes. Now we got this is again system of homogeneous equations. So yes, we can check that these last two equations are these are the same. So so that we will solve these first two equations for getting the values of x, y, z, right? So here we will have this x. Yes, we got this values of x, y, z. Right. So now we have to put this here in this column vector. Yes. So in this way we have find third eigen vector for this lambda is equals to this minus two. So that. Here we got all the three eigen vectors. Thus, we got here three eigen values, and with respect to these three eigen values, we got three eigen vectors, which are respectively given by yes. So we got three these three eigen vectors, right? So. In this way, we have find eigen values and eigen vectors. Just we have to remember that first we have to find characteristic equation so that we will get eigen values. Then this eigen values we have to put in matrix equation. In this matrix equations, by putting all these eigen values, we will get required eigen vectors. So. this is the required thank you